at the dawn of YouTube, there was a singular creator named the Angry Video Game Nerd. And he would perform these videos as a character, the Angry Video Game Nerd, who would go on and yell obscenities and drink beer and potentially do all sorts of horrific things. And this is a really big channel. It's got many, many seasons. It's been going for years and years and years. I used to be a big fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd back in the day. I used to watch all the new episodes, along with the Nostalgia Critic. I don't really watch them anymore, but I always enjoyed it. But the worst thing that came from the Angry Video Game Nerd was all of the copycats, because on YouTube, when something does well, of course, all the other people are gonna try and do the exact same thing except they won't quite be able to grasp exactly what makes that thing good. And one of those people was the pissed off angry gamer. And Wavy WebServe made a great video Back on it. So let's take YouTube, a look at it. It seemed like everywhere you look, there was an angry review guy. There's something that pisses me off. And you know what it is? This game. Almost all of these discount AVGN clones have been lost to time, but there was one that was so hilariously bad that he has become an infamous internet legend. The we call these lol cows. If you don't know what a lol cow is, a lol cow is an internet personality that is so captivating, not because they are good at what they do or because they have a fan base of people that love and support them, but because they have a fan base of people that just enjoy dunking on them. And that's pretty much it. There are massive threads forums of people that just spend all the time dunking on them. There are people like DSP, who is a lol cow, there's Wings of Redemption, and there's one of the most popular ones, Chris Chan. Pissed off, angry, hardcore gamer. I'm pissed <laughs> the f*** off. It's one of his eyes. It's a piece of shit! The pissed off angry gamer became infamous in the early days of YouTube thanks to his reviews that featured low production quality, excessive swearing, and just overall insane antics. Bro, what's going on? He's wearing a Homer Simpson mask. Eventually, the pissed off gamer would run into trouble when he pissed off the internet by calling this system right here the Nintendo Shit Cube. Aw oh, man, he dunked on you though. He owned you. I mean, what are you gonna do about that? He straight up owned you. You like the GameCube? Uh, no, it's actually the Shit Cube. It's, it's a cube and it's a shit, so. You're owned now, what are you gonna do? That's it, you can't say anything. I actually think these angry video game nerds knockoffs are very funny because they don't quite capture what made the angry video game nerd really good, which is the angry video game nerds. 52 card pickup, you know how you play that? The angry video game nerd at his peak made really good videos. From a comedic standpoint, I'm pretty sure they were scripted, of course, and he was playing a character. And the thing that these knockoffs weren't able to grasp is the Angry Video Game Nerd actually provided some in-depth analysis of the game. He didn't just say, I'm pissed off and I'm angry all the time. There was actually good jokes. There was like well-written jokes that would go into the videos. There was good production value. There was a lot of effort clearly put into it. And the knockoffs would just sit there and be like, oh, I need to be an angry video game reviewer. So I'll just sit here and be like, oh, the, the, the GameCube bad and Mario dumb. All I do is jump up and down. I'm really mad at it. And it's, it's, the best. it's the worst. The angry video game nerd and by extension, like angry Joe made actually well-produced reviews and well-produced videos. Uh, and then you have the Nintendo shit cube from the pissed off angry gamer. <laughs> this is what, what I like to call the Nintendo shit cube. His negative review of the beloved console you made would attract cookie haters and trolls alike. And these trolls would follow the gamer throughout his YouTube career. Through all the strange twists and turns. Oh my God, what is going on? Is he dressed up like Freddy? Oh man, Freddy, are you okay, dude? reviews to the Bible readings to the tech Wait, what? What? Did you see the Bible readings? It's like, I'm pissed off at the Bible today! It says, thou shalt not steal! But I really want to! God, I'm so mad! Instruction videos, the trolls were there. Today, I'd like to invite you all to come back with me to old school YouTube as we analyze the chaotic career of the pissed off, angry, hardcore gamer. I'm excited. Today's I want to take a closer look at him. By Surfshark VPN. Woo! Surfshark is a VPN app that works across all of your devices, keeping your IP and no. data protected. When browsing Wait, the both? internet using Surfshark, your IP address will be hidden, which is useful in protecting yourself oh, nice. from bad actors that might want to track you down. I don't like those bad actors. They always want to track me down. It hides your internet browsing activity from your internet service provider, and it keeps it from advertisers that might want to serve you targeted ads based No, on I can be browsing. in Singapore and Serbia. This is amazing. And not only is Surfshark useful from a privacy standpoint. Shut up. 3,200 servers. 
Bro, I can't even count that high. You can change your server location to practically anywhere in the world. You can swap to these servers at will, making it appear as if you're using the internet from a different part of the world. This is useful I can be everywhere. to access content that's blocked behind a region firewall. Let's say I can you finally teleport. Streaming content, but it's region yeah. locked in the United Kingdom and you live in the US like me. I hate it when it All happens. All you gotta do is switch to a, let's say, London server and you're gonna be okay. able to access that streaming content. It's really Oh my useful. god. You guys that's so good. You guys can 83% off and get three additional months free when you click my link in the description box and use dude i'm gonna click that link so hard big shout out to i mean Surfshock. okay okay this this video is a year old but still surfshock you should definitely sponsor wavy web surf way more because he just convinced me so hard to get surfshock and i'm gonna click that link so hard i don't know if it's still it's still valid baby yeah it's still valid so please give wavy web surf way more money and way more sponsorships because they definitely deserve it Shark and they should give them more the money video. Eric, the pissed off, angry, hardcore gamer, began his YouTube channel sometime around 2007. As his comically derivative channel name suggests, Eric was most definitely inspired by the angry video game nerd. Many low quality nerds. His name is the pissed off, angry, hardcore gamer. You might as well call yourself the really mad, super geeky guy that is so so pissed off all the time. And I'm really upset, and I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna pee myself too. Uh, that should be a new title. None were as hilariously bad as the pissed off angry gamer. This man is single-handedly responsible for some of the most scuffed YouTube videos of all time. That's impressive because in early YouTube there were so many bad videos. Oh yeah. The pissed off gamer's presentation and delivery were truly something to behold. His intros resembled low quality Microsoft <laughs> Paint creations, and he sometimes used software to overlay red eyes on his face to make himself look angrier. Dude, that's terrifying, man. Those eyes, imagine, listen, you're in your bed at night. It's 3 a.m. You're tossing and turning. You hear a creak in the middle of your room. Your eyes slowly open and you see this guy in the corner. What do you do? At the time, Eric would speak slowly sounding as if he was falling asleep while performing a review. The Shitbox V60, you can play the original games. Okay, wait, let him cook, hold on. He's building up here, this is gonna, be, this is gonna go really well, hold on. On the Shitbox V60. But when mm -hmm. you least expect it, he would burst out in a fit of unhinged rage, scaring the shit out of you in the process. I put in a game called WWE Smackdown okay. vs. Raw 2007. Okay, and what happened when you put in that video game, pissed off, angry video game, hardcore gamer nerd? I bought it, it was brand new. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And when uh -huh. I put in the shitbox 360, yeah. you, fuck, you fucked it all up. No. So then, no. What? <laughs> I'm here fucking game! Sorry! Much sorry! Oh, sorry, my bad. Oh god, I remember when the Xbox 360 came out and if you tried to turn the Xbox while it had a game in it, it would cut the disc. I don't, uh, was it the Xbox 360 or was it a different console? But man, he's terrifying. I'm sorry. Whatever it was, I, I apologize. The a pissed off, angry, hardcore gamer. The pissed off gamer would exist in obscurity for some time until it nice grew to infamy thanks to an extremely botched review of the Nintendo GameCube that he did. This I think he was just going for the Five Nights Freddy's approach of just taking it really slow and chill for the first five hours of the night. And then when hour six rolls around, he hits you with a jump scare real quick. He does. He hits you with the, the chica. The review has become notoriously referred to as the Nintendo Shit Cube review. The Nintendo Shit Cube. In this video, the pissed off gamer sluggishly reviews the GameCube as he lazily pokes it with a broomstick from his chair <laughs> and also says that the disc looked like chocolate chip cookies for some reason, amongst <laughs> other crazy shit. That's awesome. That's so good. Hey, don't, don't dunk on him because of the mic quality, okay? These videos were uploaded 14 years ago, and this is an archive as well. So not only were these videos uploaded 14 years ago, in theory, the original videos were uploaded previous to that. So who knows how old they really are? Dude, I love this intro. It's so and good. this is what, what I like to call the Nintendo shit cube. Yep, go ahead. Tell him why. Tell him why. Hit and him with it. the reason uh -huh. I call it... The yeah. Nintendo shit cube. Come on, dude, I'm ready. It's yeah. It's a piece of fucking shit. Yes. The Nintendo shit cube. Take a look at the fucking game. Yeah, look at that this game. This is a Nintendo GameCube game. Right. This looks like a fucking chocolate chip cookie. Uh, I, I, 
not really seeing the resemblance there, but you know what? Keep keep cooking, dog. You're doing really well. Is way much more better than uh -huh. this god awful piece of shit. No, he's spitting. He's spitting. The PlayStation Two can play DVDs as well. He's so right. The shit cubes, wireless controller. It's not good. Oh, it's, it's see. This man has such a way with words. If only we all had the vocabulary and mastery of the English language that they do. Though we shouldn't make fun of him because I don't believe English is his first language. So maybe we should be a little bit more um, easygoing toward this individual. It's always hard learning a new language, I think. Yeah, you, you show that controller. You tell it. You teach it. Go on. Want to buy the Nintendo shit cube. No one does. Likes it. That's Once right. Was published, Eric almost instantly became a locale of sorts. He would become a subject of great mockery and derision on YouTube. People couldn't really wrap their heads. I really wish GameStop employees acted like this. No, that would actually hit hard though. You walk in, you're like, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about, should I get like the PlayStation or the new Xbox? What do you think? And the other employees like, listen, the first one's a piece of shit. The second one, we don't even have it. Don't even. Come in here looking for a PlayStation. There's no PlayStations. You think we have PlayStation? Who do you think I am? I have a PlayStation. Go away. I hate you. Around Eric and what his channel actually was. Was this some kind of character? Was this satire? Or was this man for real? One no, I think he's for real. One thing's clear. The shit cube review was funny for all the wrong reasons. This looks like a fucking chocolate chip cookie. You just, you just had cookies on the mind, man. Leave them alone. I have cookies on the mind pretty regularly as well. If I see something small and circular, I'm like, ooh, I gotta eat it. As I'm gonna have to eat it now, I have to. Insane antics of the pissed off angry hardcore gamer were only beginning, and they would be what is showcased he doing? in future videos. He's pouring, pouring a glass of wine, okay. Is this, is this part of the review? Is he a wine reviewer now? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. What is that? <laughs> Oh no! Is he okay? As more pissed off angry hardcore gamer videos came out, it became clear by the YouTube comment sections that people weren't treating this guy as the second coming of AVGN. No, they were coming simply to mock Eric for his technical incompetence and his seemingly utter lack of comedic timing, opting to just think that yelling out randomly equals funny. What do you mean? His comedy is on point. <laughs> Jesus, it's sorry. More of a laughing at Eric versus laughing with Eric kind of thing. And to add insult to injury here, the pissed off gamers videos began to be used to create mocking YouTube poop videos, which often made jokes towards Eric's appearance and other extrinsic attributes of the gamer. Hey, listen, you know you've made it on YouTube when people start to make YouTube poops about you. I have not had a YouTube poop make it made about me. Actually, I think there's been like one made by a fan, which I think is great. But if you have some of those, you've hit peak YouTube, that you were a character. You are the main character for at least one day on YouTube. Oh, oh my God, look at it go. Becoming the penultimate laughing stock of YouTube video game reviewers, the gamer would eventually respond to his detractors with an angry Microsoft PowerPoint. This Microsoft Movie Maker style slideshow uploaded to his channel had this to say. All of you haters can diss me and threaten me and make fun of me and call me a fat, ugly, retarded bastard. I don't Ooh, give a okay. fuck. I'm not going to let myself be put down by any of you. And that is the right thing to say. I don't give a rat's ass if you think my videos suck. You see this you tell him. son of a bitch will continue making and uploading videos. That's and right. Eric would continue to upload videos for some time, but the mockery never stopped. And eventually he would get tired of all this and decided to abandon his channel for the time being. No, I think that once you become a lol cow, that's it. You're a lol cow forever. Like, there's things like, you know, I, I mentioned before, there was Chris Chan, there is Wings of Redemption, there is Dark Side Phil, DSP. There's no coming back from that. I don't think there's a single thing that they could do that would put them in the world's good graces again. Like Wings of Redemption and Boogie 2988 literally had a boxing match against each other. Wings of Redemption won, and I don't think anyone thinks any better of them than maybe you think, oh, that was cool that you got in the ring, but we're still gonna make fun of you. Once you've hit lol cow status, it's, it's, it's over. You just gotta accept it at that point. The internet never forgets. But I actually wanna take a look at some of his content here. So let's take a look at the pissed off video gamer theme song, baby. Theme song time. He made his own theme. It's pretty good, right? Okay. Okay, it's a little harsh. It's a little harsh on the ears. 
It's it's actually just the same. It's just it's just one melody. It's just, it's just the one melody. I feel like I'm watching a snuff tape. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it, it is. It is literally just one melody. It's it's not even. I I, I don't even know if you could call that a melody, to be honest. Nothing to spend more time in the real world than just relax nice. and meditate on his YouTube career. But don't it's worry, good. this story isn't over. When's the water? He's having a good time at the beach. Beach. I'm happy for him. There we go. It looks like he's having a good time. It's just one chord. Yeah, that's what it is. Good, good job, mate. I years did later. Those videos eight years ago. The reason I wait, dude. How has it been eight years and everything looks exactly the same? How has it been eight years but you're still recording in ATP? I made those videos was on purpose, not intentional. The reason I did those videos was on purpose to make people laugh. Okay. I made a fucking jackass out of myself. Yep. I get made fun of, but I made those videos on purpose to make people laugh. I feel a little bit bad for him. I feel like he, maybe he's not all there, you know, I, and he's uploading videos to the internet as most people would do. He's getting made fun of because, you know, people are going to make fun of people on the internet. That's just what's going to happen. I'm back making video game reviews on YouTube. If you like them, you like them. If you don't like them, don't like them. I don't give a fucking shit if people like my videos or not. That's right. Gamer would return sometime around 2015 or 2016. This was 2015? At least he got a bad mic. In new videos, he showcased a variety of- Bro, why is he not wearing a shirt? What? Why is he not wearing a shirt? What are you doing? The hobbies and collectibles that he had gotten into since he left. In this video, okay. he shows off oh, a new okay. mouse pad that he had purchased. Cool. No, that's no. It's that's cool though. What is this like uh, a cosplayer? She's wearing like a sword. What's interesting about this mouse pad? Yeah. W w tell me what is interesting about this mouse pad. I'm interested to hear the specifics about what you enjoy about this. I can now. Yeah. Jerk off. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't think he was just gonna say it. With the mouse. Bro, crawling all over her body. What the fuck? Oh my god. Her pussy. Whoa, Jesus. What? Her tits what? Are fantastic. What is going on? Wouldn't mind tasting her oh, no. magnificent ass. Oh Here's my god. Is Freddy oh my god. I've never heard anything like that before. Jesus Christ, I wasn't prepared. I, I thought he was just gonna say, like, it looks good. Or I like the sword. I didn't think he was just gonna straight up admit it. You know what? I, I have to, he's honest. Kruger destroying a PSP. Wait, this is in 2016? This is when he came back and he was like, yeah, this is gonna be a banger, right? Hold on. Let me, let me do this. And like, people loved it when I destroyed the other controller. actually make new ones, such as this Robocop review where he for some reason dresses up like Homer Simpson. Hell, people like Homer, right? <laughs> he's gonna give you the. He's gonna give the game the old "Why you little?" Local dick for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah. Lord knows how much I fucking hate this shitty ass fucking game. <laughs> Dude, he's, his hand is shaking, man. I think he's legitimately angry. <laughs> This is not quite recapturing the same angry video game nerd uh, charm that I used to enjoy that channel for. More of his personal thoughts in this second lap of his YouTube career, often weighing in on trending topics that were going on at the time. Such oh, dude, I can't. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what this guy thinks of the female Ghostbusters movie. I'm sure he has some really intricate, well thought out takes about this one. Here we go. In this video where he expresses his thoughts on the all female Ghostbusters movie release. Do you think that he liked it? I don't know. I think it's about 50, 50 chance. 2016. I don't want to see a bunch of cock sucking whores catching ghosts. Catching ghosts is not a bitch's job. Kicking ass and catching ghosts 
is a man's job. A woman has never spoken to this man. Not one time. Not even in passing. His mother didn't even speak to him. However, no matter what topic or style of video the gamer would decide to make, his trolls would inevitably come back to harass him. He never yeah, could really shake his haters that he got from that shit cube video back in the day. And this seemed to deeply frustrate him. In an address to viewers, the pissed off angry gamer would candidly explain that the Nintendo shit cube video- Is that a cross behind him? On the bed? This guy's- is that a cross? I can't tell. It kind of looks like one a little bit. There's no shot this guy's religious, right? that brought him infamy years ago was simply a joke. And the intention wasn't to give an honest opinion on the console, it was just to make people laugh. In that video, I make a total fool out of myself. The only reason- It's not just that video, mate. Not, not just that one. I made that video. It was on purpose to make people laugh. I actually have the GameCube right here in my hands that very same I gamecube i think it's a bad console in fact i think the gamecube is one of the best systems ever made it has oh I, okay i mean one of the best systems ever made uh, listen i like the gamecube as much as the next guy but i, I don't know, know about that one some of the best wrestling games ever like but no matter how much Eric attempted to explain what he considered his comedy to the viewers, his status as an internet laughing stock was firmly concreted and he was never really able to dislodge that stigma. This is a message to all my subscribers. If you're subscribed to me because you want reviews, I don't care. I don't <laughs> give a shit. What? I am not gonna do any more reviews why is it uploading this video being entertaining i tried what? making people laugh i failed miserably and after being <laughs> i want oh my god that glimmer of self-awareness washes over him as he stares at the computer screen and realizes that he's completely failed. The joke for years for making these gaming review videos, Eric would abandon trending topics and gaming entirely and- Probably a better idea that he doesn't talk about trending topics after hearing literally one take. Not to say that that Ghostbusters movie was necessarily good, but his take was women can't do anything. Pivot his content in a dramatic new direction. This direction was making religious videos and prayer reading videos, as apparently what? he was a religious man. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. All right, he's not all there. There's absolutely no way. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Oh no, he had the beep. Tell that bro to replace the battery in his fire alarm. God, I hate that beep. Oh, it's so annoying. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. But even when making these like the flourish on that videos, Eric couldn't seem to avoid online ridicule. I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm getting comments on my videos saying I'm Russian this, I'm Russian that, when I'm really actually Jewish. <laughs> what? I, I don't think that stops you from being Russian. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure you can be Jewish and Russian at the same time, unless he means Jewish by heritage, which I suppose you can also be Jewish by heritage and be Russian, right? There's no reason why you couldn't be that. Like you can be American by heritage, or sorry, Jewish by heritage and American. I, I, I don't understand. This is my Jewish kippah. This is my fucking Jewish talit. Wait, he was doing Bible readings when he's Jewish? Is that a thing that happens? This is my fucking Jewish prayer book. I ain't no fucking Russian. I'm Jewish American. But I don't believe in my religion, so I go to Roman Catholic Church. And if oh, okay. I'm so confused. There's so many things going on here. The pissed off, angry gamer would leave. So he's not. If he doesn't believe in it, then he's not. He's he's Catholic then, right? If you if you go to a Roman Catholic church and you believe in the Bible and you you do Christian things like all those Christian things, then you're Christian, right? Like, am I wrong on YouTube this? Entirely sometime around 2017, and ever since, Eric has kept a low online profile. 
Don't worry, I've confirmed that he's not dead or anything. He's still out there, but it's clear How did he that he confirm? has no interest at trying his hand at YouTube again. No, the yeah, no, gamer didn't. I think his skill should be put toward other endeavors. Get involved in some controversy. He didn't get canceled. There really is no wild twist to this story. It doesn't need that to be fascinating. Simply walking through his catalog, his zoo of content from back in the day, is interesting enough. I mean, it really is. Let's see what else we have here. We have Contra. We have the Nintendo Shit Cube, which is the big one. The Shitbox 360. The, the, the original review is 9 minute 47 seconds long. Let's, like, let's skip to like 6 minutes this, in. The controller's wireless receiver. You yeah. just put it on the GameCube. This is not really much of a review, to be fair. A Oh, this, this one button in his shirt is really fighting for its life there as well. The pissed off angry gamer truly was a YouTube enigma. His content was so bizarre that it oftentimes seemed as if his entire Threat channel eyes. was just satire. But then Eric would upload some unhinged video that only reinforced the notion that it wasn't an act and that he presented himself genuinely. While it's an advanced ARG. We just are too dumb to understand he it. He was certainly attempting comedy with his game reviews. It was so poorly executed that it almost always resulted in Eric making a fool of himself. Whatever the case, it's clear that the pissed off gamer didn't appreciate the constant mockery that his videos brought him and opted well, he's to pissed off. content creation behind him. Hell, Is that all the points? For everyone. While Eric didn't become the next angry video game nerd, he did succeed in becoming the most uniquely infamous YouTube video game reviewer in the history of the site. And honestly, I hadn't heard of him until now. So I have to thank Wavy WebSurf for introducing this to me because Wavy WebSurf is always a great source of weird intricate specific video game or not video game but internet law that is just always incredibly interesting to me so you should definitely subscribe to them if you have not already they upload it very regularly and all of their videos are fantastic that was a bit of an older one so you got so many videos to watch and if you want to see more of my dumb face then you can subscribe to the react channel that's this one too you can subscribe to this one too